recognition in e-learning environments. On behalf of the authors Aditya Kamath, Aradya Vishwas and Vineet Balasubramanian. So uh, as many of you already know that massive on open online course platforms like Coursera, edX, they have become very popular in recent times and students all across the world they are uh, taking courses from top universities. So uh, in these facilities there is a uh, they have only a one-way communication which is from the teachers to the student but it's missing the other way around link which is from the students to the teacher so in live classroom environments uh, the teacher can look at the students and they can know about the engagement level of the students so this work attempts to solve the problem of eng engagement recognition of students taking such courses so that they can be relayed back as feedback and uh, can be improved to can be used to improve the lectures uh, so the issue with uh, this problem is that there are no currently publicly available data set and the one of the major contribution of this work is the uh, creation of one. So uh, the data set is created using crowdsourcing platform like uh, Crowdflower and the annotations have been done on three levels which are not engaged, normally engaged and very engaged. So engagement level three meaning very engaged. Okay. So uh, the images are uh, uh, real world images where you have re uh, real world problems like uh, background cluttering, background noise and there are interruptions in between the videos. Um, so to mitigate the Hawthorne effect, the subjects are not aware of the videos being recorded. And uh, so however this data set has one difficulty because of the crowdsourcing annotations. Uh, many similar images have been annotated with uh, different tags. Yeah, uh, so the motivation behind proposing a new methodology is that the existing commercial systems they do not perform well. Uh, as you can see in this image, where y axis is the percentage of engagement and x axis is the time. So on a on a temporal se sequence image, second, fifth, and sixth do not actually correspond to the um, actual human uh, behavior. So uh, by using traditional methods like SVM and multi-kernel SVMs, the accuracies obtained are very low and uh, these cannot be used for a real uh, time system. So uh, it's really inadequate to be incorporated into uh, MOOCs. Uh, so the main idea behind the proposed approach is that uh, the votes obtained from the crowdsourcing platform are used uh, as instance weights to train the SVMs. Uh, and the intuition behind that is that uh, the S, uh, is that uh, the SGM, if it is mis misclassifying some instance, then uh, it should be penalized more. So the proposed approach uh, it achieves a 14% improvement on the data set. Uh, over the traditional methods which are the previous SVM and multi kernel SVM and when we are ignoring the uh, really ambiguous class which is the engagement level 2 we achieve a 46% improvement over the traditional methods. Uh, the data set and the proof of concept implementation is available online at GitHub at this link and uh, if you want to talk more about it the poster is 2A8 and hopefully I'll be able to do justice with the author's contribution. Thanks a lot.